Good morning, guys. Uh, it's been a while uh, since I've chatted to you. Actually, it's quite interesting. Um, you know what what's transpired over the last little while. Um, I've lost my beard. <laughs> is one thing, um, but uh, the the other cool thing that's happening is the is um, the fact that uh, you know we had an amazing Passover feast, and now we on the precipice of this weekend is actually. Uh, the next feast of the Lord, which is uh, which is called Pentecost, and it's pretty well understood as what Pentecost is um, in the church. We tend to go, oh, that's you know that's the, when the Holy Spirit came into the room, and um, and basically birthed birthed the church as we know, it. like it was the birthplace of the church. Um, you know when Peter stood up in Acts two and he spoke about uh, he spoke to the crowd um you know it had mass Im impact um which was probably the first time you know it, you know most of the mass impact came from jesus himself but this is the first time it came from his disciples um so yeah so that's how we kind of understand pentecost um but it, you know as i've kind of dug in is even passover it ties back to um the this has been written long before even that moment in Acts two. Um, in the Hebrew, it's actually called Shavuot, or so S H A V U O T, and its uh, other name is the Feast of Weeks. And um, and the reason it is because because of that, uh, its name that is because it's seven weeks plus uh, one day um, after the Feast of First Fruits, which we know was the end of Passover. Um, and um, when they brought an offering back in that time, they brought an offering uh, 50 days after Passover, or after the, the last part of Passover, Feast of First Fruits, they brought an offering, which wasn't just the First Fruits of barley, but they also brought two loaves of bread. Um, and you know it was significant because these loaves of bread were made from the, the finest ingredients, um, and now you know as an offering to the Lord. Um, and why do I say that? It's because um, it it all points towards um, what happened in Acts two. Um, and those two loaves of bread were to represent um, Jews and Gentiles crazy to think like way way back back when the gentiles were not even really considered uh that this is essentially the you know the, the deeper reason behind why they brought those two loaves um and it was you know two loaves to you to unite as one as an offering and as we know in acts 2 uh that opened the door to the gospel going to the Gentiles, which was incredible. So it wasn't just Jews, but it was also the Gentiles. And, you know, we find ourselves in that category, in the latter category, we're not the Jews, but we're the Gentiles. Um, but, yeah, so it's incredible to think that, you know, um, it's tied right back to there. Um, and, um, and so when we celebrate 50 days, it's interesting because um, you know seven. The number seven is um, is like shalom, basically, and so seven times seven is a lot of shalom. So that's forty nine, and then plus one in the Hebrew meaning God. So it's forty nine plus one is fifty, and that you know that's where we get the word uh, Pentecost from. You know, it's fiftieth, um, and so yeah, we celebrate fifty days after. 50, 50 days after, um, after, after the, the, the Feast of First Fruits and the end of Passover. Uh, so yeah, just really, really amazing just that that can be tied back into there and there's deeper meaning and reasons behind that all happening back there which then feeds into what happens um, in the Acts 2 experience. Um, another really cool thing that I found out years ago was um, that... Uh, essentially what happened in Sinai was kind of like like the basically the the first kind of experience of of 
Holy Spirit pyrotechnics, you know, it was like mountain filled with like lightning and thunder and Moses goes up there and he gets the rules, the instructions for covenant community, for what it means to live in God's godly community. Um, and, and so there's a celebration and then, um, and then they actually hear from the heavens tongues from the Lord, um, which is crazy to think. And, um, and the people were just go, they're just absolutely in fear, <laughs> in fear. And a bunch of them actually totally are disobedient and they end up, um, end up making idols and all in, in Moses' absence. And he comes down and he's pretty angry. And actually 3,000 people uh, are killed <laughs> as a result of their disobedience, which is, which is intense. Like, but it, this is the fear of the Lord we're talking about. Um, but if you mirror that and you fast forward to Acts 2, uh, it's actually quite amazing because um, what, we, what we see is almost like the fulfillment. The reason that they met in, a, in Jerusalem in that time, 50 days after, was to celebrate these loaves, the Feast of First Fruits, but also the kind of remembrance of Sinai as well. Um, the gathering of of godly the godly community the israel nation and so there was many tribes of jews that came came to that night um and what we what we find is as a result of peter standing up with the with the fulfillment of the that spirit coming um the the people for the first time respond in tongues like they like the before peter stands up that uh, a power comes into the room and then everyone can understand each other um, even though they're from different parts, different regions and, and they, they all understand, it's amazing and so there's this transaction where in Sinai, God's speaking from the sky in tongues and they just go freak out and then in this transaction uh, the people respond in tongues themselves and uh, and you know they criticized and all that sort of stuff uh, actually accused of being drunk which is kind of it's ir irony there right there but um that confusion of what's happened um but as a result of that peter stands up with boldness and he preaches the gospel and on that day how many people were added to the church it says three thousand so interesting to note you dig around yourself you know but there's a fulfillment that's happening in Passover, uh, in Pentecost, that is tied back to the Hebrew Holy Scriptures or the Old Testament, and um, and so you see these uh, the the birthplace or the birthplace of the church is where three thousand, what is it, the restored promise of God from Sinai, um, and then to go f upwards and onwards um, into the next next phase of the beginning of the Church of Christ, and. Um, so yeah, so like when you're thinking about Pentecost this weekend, guys, um, have a think about that because that's um, that's a deeper a level, a deeper meaning that um, that is part of what what we celebrate. So when we think about okay, this is just this powerful force and comes into a room um, and changes the history forever introduces us to the second member of the Trinity, or the third member of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, um, and then becomes basically the power source of all that the church is to do in the next, in the future. Um, and we know that Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit came down on him and that's when his ministry started. And, uh, and we know that that's when the ministry of, basically the true ministry of Jesus really came, came into being. And it became a church, so it's an awesome thing. If you get an opportunity, um, read read Mount Sinai, um, read Leviticus twenty three sixteen, talking about the two loaves um, in the offering, and 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 then read about Acts two, which is you know most amazing amazing bit of scripture to meditate on. So I want to say happy Shavuot to all of you this weekend. And um, I hope it's a really powerful time that you encounter the Holy Spirit and, um, and that you join in fellowship somewhere and, uh, and yeah, and just kind of um, remember, but also 
celebrate what is within us and therefore what comes out of us as a result. So this is the last days, guys. So um, the mission's still there and the Holy Spirit still lives inside of us. It's a powerful force. So blessings and shalom to you all. Um, and yeah, I look forward to uh, sharing with you again. I may, I may share some more stuff with uh, Pentecost in the next couple of days. That's up to the Lord. But yeah, we'll just see. We'll see how we go. But yeah, blessings. Have a great day. And we'll chat to you soon. Okay. See ya.